Hi guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to reset a Samsung Galaxy S2. This uh, is this model in particular is the uh, Rocket, what the AT&T call it. Uh, not sure why, but there may be some differences in the resetting mode because I have actually played around with the reset and I'll explain more clearly why some of you may have been having problems and trying to get get it to go into the reset mode which is into the kernel mode so what we have here so what we're going to do first as you know there are two two ways of resetting the phone one is the software reset which I uh, is uh, pretty easy you just go into settings and then um, go into privacy and you'll see factory data reset there so you have the option to format the USB storage at the same time and then just click reset phone and erase everything and it will show you uh, another screen which will ask for your password and that's the Samsung password for this phone. So the what I'm going to show you is more of the hardware reset which, which can uh, happen when you're not able to get into the phone, power the the phone on or something happened uh, or for any other reasons. <clears throat> so first of all what we do is um, let's go back home, we power down the phone okay okay it's powered down now so let's flip it over and I've taken the back cover off and I'm also going to take out the battery and replace it. This is probably uh, probably to clear any um, cache that's held in uh, memory. So now we flip it back over again and what I found is I've, I followed some other methods on uh, Google when I did uh, try to look for how to reset and it didn't occur, it didn't work for me and I needed to really experiment with it before I found the solution for this particular phone. Most were, would tell you to press the volume up here and then simultaneously press the power button here but that never really worked for me. What I did find that worked was I actually needed to keep my thumb in between the plus and minus so up and down volume button right in between and then press the the uh, power button at the same time and then I noticed two Samsung logos appearing one almost immediately after another and then I found that if I let go of the power button on the second time the logo appeared then it would go into the kernel mode so let's give that a shot again okay I'm pressing the uh, middle button on the thumb here and then press the power button. So here it goes once and again. So let go. There it is. So oops, I let go of it too quickly as you can see. So my left thumb um, got moved too quickly. So I was a little bit over anxious. So let it power up again and we'll power it down again. The phone is powered down. So turn the phone over, take the battery out and put it back in again. Turn it over and what we're going to do is put our thumb in between the up and down left, uh, the volume button on the left and then the power button we're going to simultaneously press those and then we're going to see the Samsung logo appear. In fact two Samsung logos will appear on the screen and we're going to release the power button when the second logo appears but still keep the uh, left thumb depressed so here goes one two three one okay there go okay, there the kernel's showing keep it depressed good okay so now we're on the screen where we're going to yeah, wipe the data and do a hard reset. 
So we go down, there are several options here. We can select those options using the volume up and down, as you can see. So the one we want is the third option, wipe data, factory reset. And now it says here, enter OK key, but, uh, but really we don't know what that is. So I figured out it's the home button. So let's press that. Okay, delete, and then let's go down to the next option, delete all user data. And obviously it, it warns you that this cannot be undone. So let's click on that. Okay, so now it's going through the wiping data, formatting data, formatting cache, data wipe complete. So let's reboot now again. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's taking a bit longer than usual. I'm assuming it's uh, building the operating system, so we'll give it another few minutes. See what happens. Okay, there you are. What we'll do is we'll cancel that and see what happens. Use Google Location. Next, updating Google Location. There you are. So now we have arrived at the uh, the resetted phone, which now you have the option to to upgrade it to the ICS Android version. So presumably, uh, quite a few people will do that. But if you have data, you could actually upgrade it with the Samsung KS KS, I believe. So what I'm going to do next is. I'm going to actually upgrade this clean system with the ICS because I didn't have much data in my previous one. So, hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.